Hey guys, Brent Hull, Wednesday design video. Got a fun project because it's a traditional house, but it's not quite right. And so what were the details? What was happening? What was going on? Why are these details kind of just missing a little bit? Let me know what you guys think. Okay guys, you may remember this front door that I was playing around with a few videos ago. Looking at this house, and this is the front of that house and kind of how we're playing around, I'm gonna try to fix it. I've been playing with a number of different entrances besides the one I showed you the other, the other week. One of the things I don't like about this house or, or that I have a problem with that I, that I wanna tweak and fix is these columns, okay? The size of them and the entablature, and, and this is maybe a common theme, but uh, I'm gonna try to fix that entablature in those columns and go with more of a traditional colonial revival. Now, what is that? This one seems to have a mix of different things. And remember I talked about this being a French door, that three panel organization is French, and, and that kind of ended up with these, these doors over here that are contemporary you know version of that french style so so it's a mix of different styles i don't like this three bay approach and so i want to go back with a more typical five bay approach and so i'm going to change the size of those windows and change the proportioning here some of the things you'll see here and and this is one of the things on the column is is here is their original column okay now it's a square pier okay now Piers are, you know, columns that are not round, they're square. That means they generally don't have emphasis, okay? But if you look at the ratio, 16 inch diameter on a 20 foot column, it's a one to 15 ratio, right? So we are a very tall, skinny column. If we change that diameter to about 24 inches, we end up with a one to 10. And then by the time I, I play around with the entablature, I can probably get it down to one to nine. And that's gonna be a little bit more typical. And if you can see what I did up here when I looked at their kind of entablature, okay? So this is their entablature here, and it's 16, 18 inches. And what I'm gonna do, like I did on the other one, I'm gonna try to increase this to about four or five feet. And then when I add a balustrade above, you're gonna see that, it's, that it really grows quite a bit. And so here is me playing around with their elevation, trying to, you know, change the proportions and the details. Notice that their original column is here, so they've got this spread 12 or 15 feet, and I've got with a much tighter spacing. You notice that they've got these four light sash, I've gone back with a three light sash. So I'm still staying very traditional. I've gone with really tall windows. If they went with these doors because they wanted with a lot of light, I've widened the windows. These are wider than the top windows, so we've got graduated fenestration. And then this goes all the way down, almost in the Greek Revival sense, right? You'll see, too, that their column is right in here, and I've gone out quite a bit bigger. But the big thing is, is here's their original entablature, okay? And now you see what mine is all the way up to there. And then with this, this total dimension, right, is large enough and feels like it supports this. So. When we go back to this design and we look at kind of how I fixed it here, you'll see that the entablature is really much bigger. And I've got a number of different railings we can do. You could panelize that to make it stronger. You can put balustrades, balusters in it so that it's more open. This could be Doric or Ionic if you wanted. And I'm playing around with different things here too. I'm saying, well, we could put a panel below these windows if they're not real tall. We could put a you know stone panel in there if it feels too big in there. So a bunch of little things that I'm doing to play around with this. You notice I've, I've taken you know this elliptical arch over here to this doorway. I've changed from one big window here to two small windows. These could still have, handle shutters if we wanted, but what that does is that gives this kind of primary focus and then this is kind of a secondary subordinate. So I've also played with green Luigi roof tile, which would be something that would be fun to see that would really place this, especially on this street that it's gonna go on in a real early 1900s kind of mode or vibe. And so again, you see me creating a story and kind of creating a time and place for this thing. But even what our headers looks like, whether those are brick, whether that's stone, a lot of options and a lot of details. And really this exercise was a exercise to help them think through you know, what this house could be. I will point out, this is a pet peeve. I hate 
Please stop doing this. Nothing else from this video. Stop doing this. Do not put shutter dogs, okay, on the side of a shutter, okay? Shutter dogs were designed, okay, so if this is my shutter, to sit right here, okay? And, and what happens is, is they were made so that this end weighs more than this. So naturally, by gravity, it's going to hang down and sit like this, okay? And it does not go on the side of it, kind of, you know, wedged in over here. It's just silly. It shows that you don't understand the historic precedent. You've watched my shutter videos. You know I get frustrated by it. But please stop doing that. Please remember where shutter dogs were supposed to be. And if they did want to go back with shutters, they could do those proper ones. But. Let me know what you think. I think it's a going to be an awesome house. Be curious on your feedback. So really that column and tablature thing is so important. It's so vital that we get those details right because that establishes that scale and proportion for everything. And then grounding this into a particular time and place really is an important way of making it timeless. Getting that green roof, getting the columns right, that entablature with the, the railing above really makes a handsome, beautiful house. Love to hear your comments. I'm Brent Hull. Thanks for watching.